Hi friends, today we are going to learn the new series of Justend. Actually, Justend is a state management tool. How like like a Redux and Flux and Context API. It is also one of the state management tools. Like why we are choosing the Justend? Why others is Justend is a compared to the Redux and uh, Redux Flux and uh, Context API. It is simple, simple and easy to learn and easy to code also. What is the state management? I'm I'm going to explain the state management using one diagram call. Actually, it is a one website. If you come, if you take this here, it is a one website. In the website, it contains the some uh, some components called header component and sidebar components and middle middle component and footer component. If you take in the header component, in the header and middle component, we have the some user information like user name is there. Or you can take the user ID also uh, anything. Suppose you in the profile component you are going to update. You have clicked the in the profile. It will go into the new page called profile component. It will go into the need went to the new component called profile component. In this you have something you have changed the your name. Some you are updated your name like Ellen. Ellen is updated and submitted the data. In this, here also the state management. What state means? It will track the latest state from the, uh, from the like what we have updated in the web page. If you see in in place of here Kevin, it will going to update in the Ellen in all the places. This is the state management mechanism. In the same like just and also useful to update the in the when we are going to update in the one place like a uh, one component. It will going to update in that that is latest latest information into the all the component. Like update means it will going to render the latest information in the all the components. We are going to first uh, create one store. For that, I'm going to open my VS Code editor. This section web application React JS. React hooks. Yeah. I'm going to create the new application here. npm weed. npm npm create weed at the rate of latest. First, I'm going to create the uh, store part. I'm going to create the store part, then I'm going to create the UI part. For the document, I'm going to refer the documentation or you can refer the uh, GitHub also. Go to the learn the GitHub also. It will give them some information called how to install and how to use and how to first how to create the store. First, you are going to install the just end, then you can go into uh, uh, then you can go into create the store. Then you can go into bind that store into the your component. That where you are going to use that uh, store, you can go into bind that store into the uh, component. And just uh, just a tutorial. Tutorials. I'm giving project name. React JavaScript. First, go to the just tutorials. In this, open my VS Code term, VS Code editor. For that, first, I'm going to install my. Go to the GitHub repository. Install the npm i just end. Install here in the project folder. In the project root folder npm i just end. It will going to install. Then we are going to create the store. For creating of the store, we are going to first import the uh, import create from the just end. For that, I'm going to my S code here in the in the SRC folder. I'm going to create one folder called app section. In the app, I'm going to create one file called count store. First, I'm going to develop the counter application using the uh, just end. 
js constore.js here i'm going to import first i'm going to import create from just end import create from just end then create the use uh, use bare store like i'm going to first create the one function then i'm going to uh, uh, put into the create first i'm going to for that i'm going to create count count store here i'm going to create one function called it, it, this function consists of the set this function consists of set it is in the form of it will returns actually you can take the return also or you can make this into the one parenthesis in this you can take the this is in the form of the object in this we are going to take the count as a zero initially count as a zero then you can going to increment the item or remove all these functions for that i am going to take add item i am not going to take the same num same uh, fun function names or same names here i am going to take some different names here then i am going to create is it is a function it returns the set add item in this i am going to take the callback function called previous previous state or state you can called as state also here i am going to call this here count equal to state dot count plus one i am incrementing using the previous state previous state means like if you take the first in the first time you can take the it is zero uh, in the second time you can make the previous state dot count as a one 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 plus one is a two if you take one and then same like remove item also remove item means like dec decrease decrement item here set off take the previous state or state and count equal to state dot count minus one and reset one more item is reset one more function is reset item reset item set of state set of the state equal to count gives the reset or you can directly make it as a can directly take this as a like this also if you want to we have only created the function we have to export uh, this function for the export export default we are going to actually export the use count store for that const use count store equal to create create function in this we are going to pass the count store this is the actual logic for the st store creation once again i am explaining first we are going to install the just and just and uh, uh, just and library then we are going to import the create uh, create function in this function uh, first we in this we are going to create the count store in this we are passing it will taking the set as a one function uh, set as a one parameter uh, in this we created the count as a initial value count with initial value is zero in this i have created after that i have created the add item and remove item and reset item these are three functions in this add item means i am going to increment the uh, plus one using the previous state of the count if you take the uh, remove item means i have decremented the one item uh, decremented the one uh, one count using the previous number and the same like reset also 
reset means I am going to reset with the zero number. Here you can take the uh, one condition called uh, state dot count equal to equal, state dot count greater than only uh, zero. Also you can take, but I am I am resetting here. Uh, I have taken the one more function, one more uh, thing here, reset function. It will automatically comes to the count equal to zero. This is the store creation in the uh, app app.js and uh, I'm going to create the logic part of the UA part of this store uh, in the tomorrow section, in the later section. That's all friends. If you like my content, please like and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, support my channel.